So here to show us how to throw the ultimate stag and doe, Jessica Panetta. There are folks in our audience. There are people in the audience right now thinking maybe stag and doe, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. thinking that that might be what you want to be doing with uh, with your pre-wedding time, which is awesome. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about, first of all, what it is. Because when we talked about it before, I was like, oh, I didn't realize this was the point of it. Mm -hmm. So what is a stag and doe or a Jack and Jill or Jack and Jack and Jill and Jill? Yes, well, it's all about showing me the money, right? Okay. It's a fundraising event thrown by the bride and groom-to-be for friends, for family, for wedding guests. Okay. And this is going to raise money for the wedding day and also their future. And typically, this is a ticketed event, yes. which means you're going to sell your tickets in advance on a website through an e-blast. Yeah. And then that's going to go towards like food and games and raffle tickets. And then there is another layer. When you are attending the actual stag and doe, uh -huh. you're going to bring cash with you. Okay. And this, again, will go towards more drinks, yeah. you know, maybe additional games that weren't available, let's say, on the website. Yes. And um, But today, what we're going to do is elevate it because we want to make the moolah but yes. at the same time we want guests to feel appreciated I think that's good yeah. and before we even get into what we're doing at the uh, at the event you've got some do's and don'ts some etiquette do's and don'ts mm -hmm. okay, so what my, do we need to keep in mind yes my first do would be do give people time don't yes. spring this on them at the last minute. I recommend a minimum of three months. Yes. That way people can budget. Uh -huh. And not only that, it's polite and considerate towards your guests, too. Yes. Then for the don't, I would say don't bring cash. So Even though I'm, you just said bring cash. Well, don't that's bring what cash. they typically do. Okay, got and it. And we're going to modernize it today. So okay. I would say have all the payments done up front okay. when you're purchasing those tickets. Yeah. And then that way there's no stress, like how much money do I bring? Who's collecting the money? Where's the money gonna go? Yeah. And then what you can do, you can have it all in one ticket mm -hmm. or you can do kind of like a la carte. Okay, I don't wanna do games, but I, more, I want more food or I want more drinks and then mm -hmm. pay it and forget it. My, I would be like, what's entrance and drinks? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Let me give money for that. Exactly, and yeah. my last do, do think about the big picture. This is okay. for your wedding day, don't spend it all on the stag and doe. Oh, right. right. Right? Have a budget, keep it simple, and yeah. DIY whenever you can. I love that. These are really good things. And I'm wondering, is this happening at a venue? Is this happening at home? Where do they usually happen? Well, I mean, if you have the budget for a venue, go for it, go nuts. But yeah. I mean, you want to make money. So yeah. I would recommend at a friend's house, mm -hmm. a family member's house, in the backyard. The mm -hmm. other thing that people don't tend to think about is a condo building party room. Yes. On the more expensive Smart. side, it's about $300. And when you yeah. think about splitting that with 100 people, it's quite cost effective. If they come to this party, they're definitely invited to the wedding, right? I've been invited and not been invited to the wedding. So they're like, give me money, but don't come to the yeah, building. Yeah, like, so oh rude. <laughs> that we should put it on the etiquette list. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about decor now. So as you said, you are trying to save money. Mm -hmm. So what do you suggest? Okay, well, typically a stag and doe, they don't really worry about decor, but again, we're making it fashionable and cute. Right. Right? <laughs> and this is my little spin on a Western theme. It's cute. So I just got this from my local craft shop. You, you paint the cow motif on it. Yep. You throw in some florals, add a little twill. Looks really nice. That's so good. Everything faux, everything like cheap and cheerful, and they look beautiful, and you've elevated it, yeah, right? Yeah, and it looks great in pictures, actually. I'm, yes. Yes, it does. Yeah. It looks good in real life. Yeah. Uh, let's talk food. What are we doing for food? I'm all about the food. Mm -hmm. I dream about food, so this is my favorite part. <laughs> and um, what happens here is you're not going to do the three-course meal. No. Save that for the wedding. And yeah. then I would say go for buffet style or tapas style. Yeah. What I did here is I did charcuterie in a cup. Cute. This is called board in, or this is from board in the six. Yes. And what I like about this is because you can take it around and be social with it. Yeah, they're and lovely. And why stop there? You can do dessert in a cup. Ooh, okay. Nice. This is from Amore cheesecake. Yeah. A bunch of different flavors, delicious, and it also looks great as decor as well. Your food yes. is your decor, people. That's okay? right. They double. That yeah. is beautiful. What do we have for drinks? Well, for drinks, again, typically what you could do is just have your li your liquor on the table and people kind of self-serve. Yep. But again, we're going to take it to another level. This is from coaster to coaster. Okay. And this comes in a really cute DIY box. 
and oh, you nice. can put it on display. You can have a little chalkboard with the recipe, and I'm going to be your bartender. Okay. okay? And uh, this is very simple. So this is their uh, cucumber uh -huh. mint yeah. uh, mocktail. Ooh. But I'm going to show you how you can also make it um, a cocktail. So you throw in the mint leaves yeah. and uh, the lemon. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, not a lemon. Guys, what's wrong with me? Cucumber. I don't know. It looks good to me. <laughs> Cucumber. And then yep. we're going to, you know, muddle it. Oh, I had a bad day. Uh -uh. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to throw in some ice. Yeah. All right. Then we're going to splash simply some uh, sparkling water. Okay. Mm. Nice. I'm the messiest bartender of all time. Yeah, no, I, I'd rather <laughs> just watch beer. someone else make them. I'm not too then good at that. Then we can add even like a little garnish oh, here. Oh, they're so pretty, Jess. And then you know what? You can rename it according to your stag and dough if yeah. you want. Right, like Tasty's, Tasty, whatever, I don't know. Yes. Delicious. Did I do so this is a mocktail. It's fresh. It's amazing. You can do like a mix of both, which is lovely if people are driving. That's yes. Great. And if you want to do a cocktail, just yeah. throw some vodka in it, and you're good to go. Call it a day. Okay. Now games. You said games. Yes. Shall we play some games? Yes. We're keep, we're we're keeping with our Western theme. Oh, of course we are. <laughs> I mean, this goes well with my hairdo. Yeah, mine too. Oh, oh no, there it's goes okay, the game. We have enough. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go over here. And what's this game all about? So this is instead of like a coin toss. Yeah. We're going to do a card toss. Okay. All and right. And then this is a game where um, you know whoever gets the most in it can win um, like a prize, or you can make it a drinking game. Okay. I say when you don't get them, mm -hmm. take a shot. <laughs> okay, go for it. Let's see who can. Let's see who's taking shots. To Woo! 